there, this is Hilary from Aquafortis Astrology, and this is the astrology forecast for the last week of July 2019. The first major event is the Sun entering his house of Leo on the 23rd of July 2019 at 04.50 UTC plus 2. This is very good news on various levels. The Sun is where we direct our attention in life, and when the Sun enters Leo, the sun enters her own house, making the sun very happy to be able to do what he likes and whenever he wants to. And we also get to say happy birthday to our Leo friends, which is very important, isn't it? And the sun with Mars becomes another planet that manages to escape the Capricorn Cancer War Zone, which also means that the sun will now start an ever-increasing dialogue with Jupiter and Sagittarius. And believe me, this talking is so much better than the harsh words that have been said whilst the sun was in cancer. For us down here, it means that we are one step further in getting out of the harsh reality the Cancer Capricorn events are bearing on us. Now, you may remember that in the meantime, we still have a Mercury swinging backwards in Cancer and a Venus trying to get out of Cancer with all her might. On the 25th of July 2019, at 0226 UTC plus 2, Mercury will have a meeting with Venus. Now, Mercury's role is giving words to life. So just imagine a Mercury, all stressed out, that meets an equally, if more, stressed out Venus. Venus will grab the opportunity to vent out what has and is happening in her Cancer Capricorn ordeal. Now, as much as Mercury gives voice to planets, Cancer is not much of a talkative sign. But although the words may not flow, the floodgates will for sure be opened. This is a Venus that will try and explain as much as she can how she feels. With all her considerate and nurturing gifts, she has tried with all her might to bring a soothing balm to a war zone. But she got hurt in the process. Venus' role is to bring together things and bind them together in a harmonious manner. Venus last week has met her demons, and in so doing she has changed in the process. And the pieces that she has brought together are now completely different from what they were before the ordeal. Perhaps on this day we will slowly catch up with ourselves, and feel how the eclipses and all the transits involved have changed our inner landscape. We will slowly realize some things, but not through pure logic, not at all, but more from a non-verbal, introspective and soulful manner. This encounter will give us the necessary input and space to really start feeling in our emotional bodies what these eclipses have brought in and also have taken away from our lives. Remember, however, that Mercury is still swinging backwards, so we still haven't, have still unfinished business, a lot of redoing and exploration to accomplish. On the 25th of July 2019 at 14.22 UTC plus 2, Mars and Leo and Jupiter and Sagittarius get to party. Now, Mars is how we take action in life, and Jupiter is how we give it meaning. Now, Jupiter is still galloping backwards in Sagittarius, so the partying is a, is a bit mellower, but do not worry, it's still a party blessed by Jupiter. This is a fire party trying to uplift us after all the ordeal we have been through. So somewhere in our lives, we will feel more brave and daring, and why not optimistic? This is a big go-for-it kind of energy from the universe that helps us get over our own obstacles. Take the plunge and cut the, loose the cords that were holding us back in a safe harbor. On the 28th of July 2019, at 0353 UTC plus 2, we have a Venus escaping from the Cancer Capricorn battlefield to join Mars and Sun in Leo. Although Venus in a fire sign tends to be a bit uncomfortable and easily irritated, I think this time she is very much happy to leave the Cancer house behind and start her talk with Jupiter and Sagittarius. For us, mortals here on Earth, that means we are one step further in getting out from a very difficult period in the year. Venus and Leo will help us bring together people and things that are more fun-loving, exciting, infinitely louder, prouder, and more dramatic. 
perhaps a badly needed change after all to all the heaviness we have been going through. Now, just an on a side note, all the planets that escape Cancer and enter Leo will not only start a conversation with Jupiter and Sagittarius, which is an absolutely fact fab thing, but they will also start an erratic conversation with Uranus and Taurus, our honorary disruptor. So we will see that every time a planet gets out of, of better, bettered from cancer, it will be given immediately a combined potent shot of let me break free from here I had enough and yes I can do it. We will definitely notice the difference in our daily life. And from stark oppression, we will gradually move to a more lighter and dynamic attitude. Obviously, we aren't done yet, with the demolition team made up of Saturn, Pluto and the nodes in Capricorn. But the air feels lighter to breathe. And an outlook to our life may become more optimistic. Should you need any guidance of how to navigate these energies, I'm available for private consultations. Before you go, let me know what you think. Thumbs up, share and subscribe to my page. Bye for now and good luck.